Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Wednesday, November 18th. Good morning to you. I hope you have a great day today. Uh, as of 3 o'clock Central, 4 o'clock Eastern, Tropical Depression Iota is at 35 miles per hour, moving west, southwest, 13 miles per hour. It's getting out of here fast. But we have two new, well, not two, but a new disturbance number two. Disturbance number one is still the same. It went down to 30% still, but I am showing in two models that there actually could be a tropical storm or a hurricane is possible uh, for Nicaragua. Also, these models that I'm showing could show that these, instead of going to Nicaragua, could still go towards the Western Caribbean. We still have that effect. Uh, disturbance two is a 20% chance, and I'm showing that it is a low 20, guys. If anything, it comes across with this new uh, uh, snowstorm, <laughs> this cold front that we have moving across. Uh, in between two high pressures, it builds this high ridge, and it's possible that it does pull a low pressure up. I will go over that with you. Uh, it says it could form between the Bahamas and Bermuda by early next week. It says it could gradually develop into subtropical characteristics through the middle, middle of next week while it moves northeastward out of here. So it could either be nothing, it could be a fish story, or it could be a problem for the northeast a little bit. I'm showing it could probably be a little too late and it really wouldn't be an issue. But however, let me go over the information that I have found for you. Now, according to the G GEFS, and I'm going to take you around the world a little bit here. I'm going to take you around all the models, show you what I found. That way we know exactly what's coming out of these things because the majority of the models are showing that we don't have to worry about this thing. However, we need to keep our eye on every possibility. Now, the locations for possible uh, low pressures and where they could go is what these models show. This is from the GEFS. And as you can see, within the next few days, a lot pops up. Uh, towards here towards Nicaragua and it could be issues for them uh, these over here that pop up in the eastern I'm showing there's not going to be a problem those will be the fish stories however I am showing that after five days and you got a market now the, the ones that's problems for Nicaragua uh, it will happen within uh, the five days uh, but the ones that are showing for the, this low pressure system shows that it would be after five days it would be really gradually growing if anything uh, but they're also showing that these systems down here by Nicaragua could actually strengthen up and start heading north through the Caribbean which is something we might have to keep our eye on so we will make sure uh, this is already 10 days out so I'm really not gonna go no further it's, it's ridiculous to go that far but there is something that could be popping up out of this we just need to keep our eye on it now, as we go through the, the 31 members for the GEFS, you'll see that you pretty much don't see anything going on on any of these members. A couple of them show a couple low pressures could build up down by, by Nicaragua. And I do show also uh, there is some strengthening down there, as you see on this one right here, also right here, that could be issues for them. And I will go over that. But also, if you notice... This one right here starts growing towards the Bahamas, towards an issue, towards Cuba, right below Jamaica, and it just sits there. And you also got that anomaly right here. And we're already past six days, guys. So this thing is really moving very slowly up here as well. If anything grows out of it. But you know I'll stay on top of it. I'll keep you updated. Now this member over here shows that it stays by Jamaica the whole time and just festers and just moves around. Uh, this anomaly up here on top shows it actually goes across Cuba and it could be actually be a Florida to the Bahamas problem. So we will check that out as well. Plus down here, it shows that it grows gradually and just moves out to the east. That's because we have these big high pressures coming and really nothing, nothing has a chance no matter what coming through the Gulf because we have a high pressure set up one after another and it's just blocking. But the, there could be a potential that we need to watch for that could grow up later. I mean, you see how late in the days this is already playing. So it's already too far. But it is what I found for you as far as what can know. That way, that way you know what could happen out of anything that's possible. Now, as we look on the East Coast for the same thing, the GEFS for the members, we'll start to notice that there is a low pressure that does pop up 
for the northeast. Uh, but it does show that it is either going to be barely a problem on its way out. See how it strengthens on the way out, or it will it won't be a problem at all. It's going to be one or the other. Either it's going to be a problem on the way out, or it won't be a problem at all. But like I said, it could come up and it could fester up from this uh, uh, the snowstorm, the the cold front that we have moving across. It's going to do all kind of different activities. But I don't. I'm not showing anything too severe yet. And as we go through the EPS cyclones. And you can see exactly what happens when these two these two high pressures one one on the left one over Atlantic as soon as they start separating okay this low pressure system here moving across the US it builds this ridge right here and that's able to pull these low pressures up but as you can see that they either become later and for the Northeast and not really a problem or it's just not gonna be a problem at all and that's the only thing that I'm picking up as far as what that could be. Now, if you look on the EPS, this thing gives you 46 days, but only looked up a few days. You can see that something does grow down here by Nicaragua. Also, the possibility by the Bahamas on what uh, NOAA is talking about. And if you keep going, you'll see it does build uh, pretty, pretty intense for a moment, but then it goes away. And it goes down so I'm not showing that anything really is going to come out of these things uh, but I do feel like I should show you some of the information that I do have that way you know what's going on because people's gonna be popping these up and I want you to worry about it and as you can see this is five days before it even starts if anything starts it'll be five days away and more than likely it will go out it's like this one to go out and be a, a, a fish story because this would be a tropical storm at that point 994 and if it meets up with the, with the system moving across the, the, the country from the, the cold front with all that snow that's coming, uh, it looks like it could be it could form up with it late. And by doing so, it would be too late for us. It won't it won't impact us. But whoever this is going towards, it could be a problem. But it was not a problem uh, from us. What I'm showing with low pressure systems, that it could be a small one. Off the, off the east uh, coast of the U.S. that's going out. Also a possible uh, 994 for the northeast that's coming with the storm as it moves out. Uh, but if you want to get a better look, here's the euro. The euro for the east coast. And you can see that it's almost six days away before it even pops up uh, a movement of this low pressure system. And as it strengthens to a tropical storm, you see it stays off in the ocean. It starts reaching out for the northeast, and then it gets down to 985. 985 would be hurricane value. It would be possible nor'easter because this is moving counterclockwise as a low pressure system. But as it moves out, see what I mean? It's not a problem quite for the U.S. Now, if you look at the uh, with the EPS, you can see the EPS picks up. Uh, it's, it's a different cyclones, but you can see that it does pick it up and it picks up there like it's late See it's not going to affect us. It will be late building because of these two high pressures Building that ridge and it makes it move it, it can't do anything when it's in between two high pressures It has to do with what the big brothers say they say go here. This is your only area you have That's what you got and within the time it has I don't I'm showing it's not going to build enough energy to do anything now, the icon model shows that there is a possibility within the five days of some kind of formation coming off the East Coast. This is what Noah is talking about. But as you can see, the high pressure system on the, the west of it moving in. See, it's squeezing through the, through the ridge. And then the high pressure system over here on the west will, will squeeze it out to the east where it won't be an issue. I will stay on top of it, but there's not a whole bunch. The UK, UK met also, and also again, I'm at five days, guys. Nothing within the five days except for the ones I showed from Nicaragua, which I will go through. And you see it starts building up a low pressure system, and it starts moving. Once again, it's in that high ridge of the two high pressures, and it's going to be getting moved out because these pressures are moving. These, these high pressures are not going to stay still. Now, through the CMC model, it shows that a low pressure does start to build up as these, this does move across the country. 
and it starts building up to a, a 994, which would be a tropical storm, about 60 miles per hour winds. And it shows that it's about seven days away, almost eight days, guys. That's pretty far. And it starts showing a little system off the east coast of the U.S. And as it strengthens, you'll see that it goes away, and it's not a problem for anybody else. If it would be any problem, it would be right here on this moment where it becomes a tropical storm, possible nor'easter uh, for the northeast. But it's not showing any landfall or any terrible strengthening where it's going to cause issues for us. Now, I went over to Tropical Tidbits because they have other views that we can get uh, that my software that I use that don't, don't uh, show. And the GFS shows that anomaly does pop up, uh, let's see, on the 30th, it goes all the way up to the 30th, it's the 17th, does pop up for Nicaragua. And as you see it go, you see a tropical storm does fester up right down there towards Nicaragua. And then it starts going towards Nicaragua as a weak uh, Hurricane 988 or a strong tropical storm, whichever way you want to put it. And then it goes into Nicaragua and dies down. Now, if you go through the GEM and you see what's going on for the northeast as far as what could happen, you'll see that uh, the low pressure system starts building up as the, the storm moves across the country. But you'll see as it builds up and moves away, it's not going to cause any issues for anybody. I'm showing that this will be a 994. That's twice it showed that. But at the same time, it moves away before it does any strengthening or any more damage. Uh, it is still kind of far away, so this could be a little bit stronger when time comes. So like I said, it could be a possible nor'easter. I'm not showing a lot of information to conclude that. Now the ICON model. The ICON model does show the low pressure pip, uh, picking up and building up right past the Bahamas. I'm not showing that it will be a problem for the Bahamas. But as you see it go, you see it starts getting strength to 1,005. It was uh, 1,007. So it strengthens a little bit. We can't see too much further. But that's what we got so far off the East Coast. And I will keep up with this. Once again, this is just too far away to worry about. If it would have showed sooner, that would be a different story. Now, the EPS for low pressure systems does show that it will pick up a 956 hurricane for Nicaragua. And that's the only model that picked it up. So we really got to stay on, on top of it. I don't want to the third problem for Nicaragua. That would, that would just be catastrophic catastrophic for these guys i mean they already been through enough but that's that's a pretty pretty bad uh, low pressure system right there guys and this is all the way till tuesday and then as it goes through you see that there's nothing else except for this one low pressure system and it's 1012 i mean it needs to be 1013 just for the system to pick it up and it's 1012 and it don't do anything it moves away so i'm, I'm not really showing that we have that going on now, if you look at this one, this is the GEFS. You see that it's a possibility uh, for 992 uh, for Nicaragua. But I'm not showing anything after that. I'm not showing that we have any issues coming out of the East Coast. I'm not showing any other surface low pressures popping up. And this was within the next few days. So it, it, really, it really isn't going to be an issue from what I'm showing, guys. One thing we got to watch out for is what could happen down here uh, for Nicaragua, of course. But they just got finished with, with this storm, and you can see it was a bad one for them. Uh, but after that one, I'm not showing anything else popping up. So whatever NOAA is picking up, I mean, there are some systems that do try and grow. Uh, but whatever NOAA is picking up, is it's not going to last. It's going to be a fish story because what I'm showing, nothing grows out of it. The one that goes out of the Bahamas doesn't become anything major. It gets pushed off and, it, and it's gone. That's it. It's not going to stick around. Nothing grows after it. So that's, that's good news. Uh, as far as what could happen, I mean, I will stay on top of it, of, of course. You know me. And I will keep you updated. But as far as those two systems, I'm showing that both of them will be uh, nothing to worry about. The one by Nicaragua, that's just... The only thing I'm showing is what they just had. I mean, you've seen it yourself. They're, both models picked up uh, the 
tropical storm for one, hurricane for another, uh, for Nicaragua. But other than that, I'm not showing anything picking up. But God bless you all. I do appreciate every single one of you, and I love talking to y'all every day. Y'all are a great bunch of, bunch of guys, so thank you for tuning in every day. Now, I do believe, you know, so, so, so does my wife, that we are in the season uh, for end times. I mean, we don't know exactly when, like nobody's supposed to, but I do believe we are in the season for it. Uh, that means that, don't know about every day, but within years or whatnot, we're definitely in the season. So what I want to do is make sure that my kids are ready. And by meaning that, I want them to have a relationship, not only with God, but they need to know about Jesus. And I've been reading, I know a lot of you know, I've been reading the Bible with my kids every day. And we was going through chapter after chapter reading from the very beginning. So they do know about Genesis. So thank God, that's, that's awesome to know about the creation of the world and life. But they don't know about Jesus yet, except for the things I tell them. So I'm going to start reading the New Testament to them so they can know the stories about Jesus. Also, after that, if God for, God forbid we're still here and there's no, no issues as, as far as the season goes, I will go back to where I left off on the Old Testament. But first, I want them to have a relationship with Jesus. They got to know who it is we're talking about. So at the same time, I'm going to go back to my daily readings like I used to do for you guys. And I'm going to start off, instead of going back to where I left off, because before this hurricane season, we was just getting through the middle of Genesis. <laughs> so I'm going to go just like I'm doing with my own children, uh, with y'all, y'all, my, my brothers, my sisters, and my family. So I'm going to go through the New Testament with y'all also every day. And I'm going to start off with Matthew 1. And forgive me for if I don't say these names right when we talk about the generations all the way until the birth of Christ. But it has to be said, it's part of the Bible. So I'm going to do it the best I can. And it's, it's pretty much only the chapter one for that, but it is what it is. So God bless you all. Give me your ear. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judas, and his brethren. And Judas begat Pharaoh and Zerah and Thamar, and Pharaoh begat Ezram, and Ezram begat Aram, and Aram begat Amminadab, and Amminadab begat Nason, and Nason begat Salmon, and Salmon begat Booz and Rechab, and Booz begat Obed and Ruth, and Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David the king. And David the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias. And Solomon begat Roboam, and Roboam begat Abia, and Abia begat Asa, and Asa begat Josaphat, and Josaphat begat Joram, and Joram begat Ozias, and Ozias begat Jotham, and Jotham begat Akaz, and Akaz begat Ezekias, and Ezekias begat Manasseh, and Manasseh begat Amon, and Amon begat Josias, and Josias begat Jeconias and his brethren about the time they were carried away to Babylon. And after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconias begat Zelethiel, Zelethiel begat Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel begat Abuid, and Abuid begat Elikim, and Elikim begat Azor, and Azor begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Akim, and Akim begat Eluid, and Eluid begat Elizor, and Elizor begat Methane, and Methane begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused, was espoused to Joseph, 
before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to pull, to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and there shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had, had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth, forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Amen. God bless you guys. I love every single one of you. I hope you all have a great day today. Whether you're going to school, you're going to work. Have a great day today. Because what you think does happen. So believe in yourself. Believe in God. All glory does go to God. Amen, guys. <laughs>